Alright, so today I'm going to be doing a review on a Wicked Lasers Krypton 1500 milliwatt and 1000 milliwatt. We're going to see which one is more powerful and what they can do. This is the 1500 milliwatt version, 532, manufactured in, uh, I think it says February, yeah, or June 24th for this one. One. And this is the just a thousand milliwatt one. Oh yeah, there. Manufactured in February 2012. This one was. There is no manufacturing date. These were just prototypes. These were the 1500 milliwatts, and so. We're gonna see which one's more powerful. Both have the indicators right there. You have to click it. One, two, three, short clicks. Hold, hold, hold. It should come on flashing low power like that. One, two, three, one, two, three. Flashing low power. So this one is the 1000, this one 1500, so we're on low power right now, we're going to see what they do on high power, hold on. One click, one click, and they're on steady. That's just low power, they're not burning the paper. I'm looking for the glasses, which I have lost. They're just sitting right here, hold on a minute. I'll watch, see if these, see if it burns. Still no burnings going on, so we're gonna go ahead and set them in the high power mode. 1500 milliwatt high power, 1000 milliwatt high power. Let's see if they can do some burnings. I believe that this one burns pretty good at about. Take a look here. Hold on. I need a new battery. This one has died. It's indicated by the three red flashing lights. Turn them on the door, we can see the beam, turn all the lights off. So this was the 1000 milliwatt one, which was still brighter with the dying battery than the 1500 milliwatt, so I wouldn't recommend getting a more powerful one than 1000 because it didn't change, it got duller than the 1000. So. Get this one to turn back on. Okay, that's the 1000 we got. And this is the 1500. Alright, so we're gonna go check. 1500 definitely has not as good of a circle dot shape. This one is perfectly circular. This one is just shit. See the beams on them. Good beams. Let's turn off some lights. Yeah, the beams 
again. This is a thousand, this is the fifteen hundred. Let's turn one high power. High power. Turn off the TV. Turn off this light. And so these are now lighting the room on brown. So the which one? Thousand milliwatt. Way better beam. Fifteen hundred, one thousand. Way better beam. Both a thousand dollars, and both are no longer made because the one thousand milliwatts too powerful and it's smoking. It's burning this fog over here too much. So let's put it on a white wall. Let's put them both on a white wall now. See how bright that gets it to. So yeah. I can see everything around this room. Perfectly. All the way back here. From that. Let's turn off the 1500. And see. Same thing. It's generating all the light. See, we're going to see how dark it is in here without it. Pitch black. Can't see anything. Let's turn it back on. And what do you know? You can see everything. Really, really bright. This is the 1,000 millimeter, millimeter one. 1,000 milliwatt, not millimeter. Oh, stinky. Good solid beam, no fog in here, nothing. You can even see the beam in the light. That is a lot of light. I don't have a laser beam, but I'm definitely guessing this one's running over a thousand milliwatts because it's just that looks way brighter than a thousand milliwatt laser to me. Just personally, lighting up a whole room like this is perfectly fine. And it's just a cool laser. Very good beam here. Let's take it outside real quick. Check out the beam outside. Decently, oh, we can't tell that on the camera. Decently lighted the night, and that's the beam up into a tree. Solid beam, extremely bright. See, there's the moon. You can see it go all. Looks like it's going all the way to the moon, but it's really not. Chair. Really, really bright. Oh shit! Just hit the neighbor's window. Really bright beam. Not foggy out here, the, even the slightest bit. Side view of it, hitting white, lights up the whole yard. This laser is really bright. Uh, I'll be selling it, so just message me on here. We're gonna go back inside. This is the living girl tucked into bed. Among the very rich and highly secretive citizens of Monaco is banking billionaire Edmund Soft. Kitty, if it's like it. Oh, damn, I thought the door was closed. Okay, so, very nice laser. What else can we do with it? Hold on. Get the light on in here. Um, what could we burn today? Okay, I have a Dolce. Box in here, so we can burn the test. 
Nem. Definitely smoking. Let's see if it can burn a hole through it. Probably pretty fast. Yeah, let's do a wheel then, actually. Ow. I'll be selling both of them. This one is a still limited edition, but. This one. Yeah, I'll sell the same price. Don't lowball me. I'm selling them for, well, a thousand milliwatts. It's over a thousand milliwatts. I'll be selling for, well, I'll have to say 1200 since one, it's no longer made. Two, very powerful. Three, nice laser. This one, uh, a thousand, because it's still fifteen hundred. It's still very powerful. Okay, I just dropped my phone there, and it's still going for something. Still lights up the wall and everything fine, but yep, it's still a collector's item. So I would actually I just, I would like to keep it, but I kind of need the money right now. I can go buy a car. This one has a good beam as well. But, so just message me if you'd like to know more about them. Any videos that you'd like. Uh, that and this battery is almost dead as well. So, any videos you'd like. Uh, give me a price. Just subscribe. Thank you.